Welcome back to the video, Pete. We've got some new clothes. Check them out. These are a mid-rise, so they tuck in everything that we want to tuck in. And it's just got a minimal amount of distress. So none of our thighs are pudging out. How cute is this top? It's just a simple t-shirt, super cozy, feels like pajama fabric. I want to apologize to all of my faithful viewers for taking way too much time to get the video peek out to you. <laughs> I'm trying to rethink the format a little bit. So give me a little bit of time to get my creative juices flowing. In the meantime, I am so excited to just show you a few fun things. This one in particular just totally took my heart and ran with it. Get it? So cute. Such a great fit. I cannot help but put this on. Don't ask about the shirt I'm wearing. It's like 12 years old. <laughs> Super comfy, stretchy. Tie it. Really comfy. I got this simple white t-shirt, just super simple, really nice fabric, pretty cute, love it. But that's not why I got the white t-shirt. I got the white t-shirt specifically thinking about these bell bottoms. I mean, I don't know about you, but... I've decided that I'm in love with them. They remind me of the jeans that we had once upon a time with the stars, except these are way more comfortable because they have a yoga waistband. <laughs> Look at this beautiful top. So pretty, isn't it? Check out these cool things. Cotton, 100% cotton. They have a little double layer in here, a nice little comfortable, easy to wear double layer. So this just gives you an idea. Wide leg palazzo with the fitted yoga waistband. And the texture is going to hide imperfections. It's a little bit loose. These might be perfect for you. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know, so let's walk around the store a little bit and see, oh, I am forgetting something. Hello, so cute. I haven't steamed yet, but here we have a peasant top, a perfect fitting peasant top that I also have somebody modeling, but I got it in two different colors. So one's sort of a light blue and one's like a golden tan. Pretty cute. And then I found this adorable little flouncy a-line camisole and i got it in white and black i have to steam all of this so just you know cut me some slack if you if you don't like the wrinkles come and help me steam them out <laughs> all right so let's see what else what else have we got here i think i showed you all the new stuff already but let's just double check. Yeah, you, oh, I know what you didn't see. You didn't see this. And it's a romper. And it has pockets. Okay, what else do we have here? Hello, some more palazzos. Let me give you different lighting. How's that lighting a little better? Those are adorable. Elastic waistband, jersey fabric, feels like PJs, super yummy.
I feel like I might have even forgotten to show you something. I don't know. You're just going to have to come in and see me and find out. So Maria is modeling <laughs> one of our new bohemian skirts and one of our new peasant tops. She is opting to tie a knot in the front of the top. That's gorgeous. Wow. And you don't have to wear it off the shoulder, so you can wear it on your shoulders or off. So beautiful. True. You're hired. <laughs> yeah. He brings out the blue. And the that pink. Is, yeah. That is so cute. That is right? really cute. But she said, well, maybe I should take the pants off. And I said, wait. Brainstorm. <laughs> Brainstorm. Yes. Wait. Before you take it off, let's see if we can wear the dress like a top with the pant. And voila. What do you think of that? Pretty darn cute. So we've got the light blue mixed with the pale yellow, white. Was that navy or black? Really pretty combination. Black. Okay, so now go ahead and take the rubber band off. What a rubber band can do, we never knew. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a poet. And now she has a dress. So she can wear that as a dress during the day on her vacation and then tie it up with a cute pant and a cute sandal for dinner that night. Boom! That's how we do it. <laughs> Look at this adorable new romper we got. Is that a romper or a jumper? A romper. Right? Sometimes I think rompers are like the little short booty short ones yeah. and jumpers are longer, but since this is a little shorter, Okay, this is so gorgeous. We just got this in. Look at the print. Okay, turn around so I don't zoom in on your cupcakes. <laughs> is that a pocket I see? Has pockets? Ooh. And adjustable straps. And what does it look like without the belt? That's gorgeous. Looks so comfortable and so flattering. It's comfortable and it feels cool, right? Especially right now with the weather. Gosh, I know. It's perfect. Look how gorgeous this new lace jacket is. Also, the tank top is brand new. The pants are her own. But can I see the back? Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. She doesn't have makeup on today, so no face. You don't get to see who she is, this mysterious woman. Look how gorgeous this you is. Got matching shoes. I thought about that. <laughs> how do the arms feel? The arms feel really nice. Even for summer, super cool. God, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Sorry, ladies, this one is mine. <laughs> My friend Suzanne came in today because she had these pants in her closet and these pants in her closet. She never wears them. She said, please help me find a top. So, see this top right here? This top is this gorgeous golden sheer top that we ended up putting over a black tank top and then putting it with these My leopard God. pants. We yes. added this fun little necklace. It was actually long and she preferred it short, which was a great idea mm -hmm. because it ended up making the outfit. This happened because of the cherished collection. This blouse is Michael Kors. And I literally have free people, Michael Kors and <laughs> Old Navy or Target. <laughs> Like there's clothes in here from anywhere and everywhere because we do not discriminate. If it's cute, we love it. I don't care mm -hmm. about the label. And it ended up being the perfect thing and making it for her outfit. So thank you. And please come in and check out the cherished collection and please go through your closets and bring your stuff in because you are blessing yourselves and everybody else who comes in this store by sharing your collection. And I thank you too, because I was desperate <laughs> <laughs> and here's my dressmate. She helps so much. <laughs>
Last but not least, here are some items that I found on my last shopping trip. Wondering what your thoughts are. Long fringe cardigan with an embroidered bell bottom. This adorable T-length ribbed tank dress has a great print that hides our imperfections and a fishnet cardigan with pockets to complete the look. This sage green crystal wash lace insert cardigan looks fabulous with these embroidered bell bottoms. Email, call, or comment on this video to let me know what you think of the last three outfits. Stay tuned for the self-love pep talk. Hi friends, welcome to another self-love pep talk. Number one, don't spend too much time in front of a mirror, period. Because I don't care how much you do, I don't care how much exercise you do, you will always find things that you don't like about yourself when you look in the mirror. I don't care how much plastic surgery or Botox or fillers you get, you're not going to escape the aging process. None of us are. None of us are. Like a lot of you look at me and you're like, oh, you have nothing to complain about. You're thin and you're young. And it's like, all right, fine. I'm thinner than some and bigger than others. And my hair is thin and I get pimples and I have stretch marks and more cellulite is showing up on my ass. There's nothing that any of us will do that will help us completely avoid the aging process. The number one remedy for aging is changing your thoughts, which means when you notice things you don't like, you say, this is my vehicle. I'm lucky to be in this vehicle experiencing this human experience. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself. I'm going to stop comparing myself to others. All of those take practice, take commitment, it's a dedication to loving you. It's a dedication to creating new neural pathways in your brain. Every time you notice something about yourself that you don't like, just notice that. Just be aware that you are doing that. Just start by going, oh, I'm doing it again. And I'm telling you, if you do that often enough for long enough, it will become a habit. It will become who you are and you won't struggle as much as you used to. I'm not saying it's a complete fix, but it helps me a lot. I'm speaking from experience. I still look in the mirror and get discouraged, but guess what? I don't spend too much time there. I don't stay in the negative thought and I notice when I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm focusing on my physical being when my physical being is not what I have to offer you or anybody else in this world. Our physical being is our mode of transportation on this planet so that we can be amongst everybody and interact with everybody and experience this spiritual evolution in physical form. It's so important that we notice when we get stuck in the trappings of the physical world. Please exercise, please eat healthy, please do whatever you need to do to make this experience more comfortable and enjoyable for you. But don't forget that what's important is who you are in here how you're managing what's happening in here and what you're giving to others, how you respond to stress, how you respond to challenges. Are you kind to yourself when you make mistakes? Do you get back up when you fail? These are things that matter. When you're lonely, are you sitting at home feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you going out and finding a way to help others? Do you notice how we take everything so personally? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to get into details, but somebody did something and it was like, oh, they just did that to, just to purposely upset me. Me, 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 poor me, woe is me. And then I have to go, wait a second. Oh gosh, old habits die hard. Okay. What if it's not about me at all? What if the reason that they did whatever they did was about all of their fears and insecurities and their competitive issues and their comparisons? What if it's about all their trauma and all their unhealthy coping mechanisms and suddenly I'm making it about me? It's not. It's not about us, you guys. It's not. Each person is dealing with their own set of challenges, their own inner turmoil, their own need for healing. Wherever they are on that journey is not your concern. But where we are on the journey is our concern. So if you're taking things personally, probably a good sign that you've got a lot of healing to work on.
It's happening for you to see where you are in your healing journey and giving you an opportunity to practice the tools that you've learned. I can talk a good game all day long, but when I'm in that moment where I have to act according to what I've learned, we have a choice. We can react out of trauma or we can slow down. We can take a deep breath. We can become aware of ourselves. It's okay to feel what we're feeling. Chemicals get released in our gut and in our brain and we feel, we physically feel a reaction, right? We do. Our breath changes, our, we shake, we get tingly, we get lightheaded, we get dizzy, we get anxious, we get tense, all the things that happen, right? When these chemicals get released. And what I do is I go, okay, I feel a physical reaction. That means some chemicals are being released in my body. It must be some kind of a fear thing, like a fight or flight thing, right? Where my body's going, get away, get away, fear, 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 attention, alert, alert. I take some deep breaths and I remind myself that I'm safe. While I'm breathing in my head, I'm going, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. It helps me to calm my central nervous system down by practicing those deep breaths in and out. And it helps me to think from a calm place instead of a scared, reactive place. So I calm down and I become aware of myself because when I'm acting in the emotion, I'm really not aware at all. I'm just going, no more of that. It's time to practice everything you've learned. Feelings are visitors and stop putting so many stories on our feelings. That's another part of our victim mentality. That's another part of our like giving power to a situation. So this person cuts me off and immediately I'm like, oh man, what an asshole. They did that on purpose. They don't even care that I have a kid in a car. They could have killed all of us. I'm making up all this story about what just happened. When in fact, I don't know if that person has diarrhea running down their leg and they're racing to get to a toilet. I don't know if they're rushing to a hospital because somebody they love is dying. We don't know, but we attach stories to these things. Somebody doesn't text you back right away. Somebody doesn't call you when they're supposed to. Somebody's late. Somebody doesn't show up. Somebody says something you don't like. Stop attaching stories. Sit with the emotions, calm yourself, Remind yourself that you're safe and then be aware of what you're giving power to. And I know that if we practice those tools, that one by one, we will change this world starting with ourselves. I love you so much. Peace be with you. One love.